Now a story we guarantee most of you have never heard before. Big money is being made from the sale of fetal body parts. Even the most ardent pro-choice advocates, like Planned Parenthood President Gloria Felt, are disturbed by what we found. It seems inappropriate, totally inappropriate. Where there is wrongdoing, it should be prosecuted and should be brought to justice. A lot of people want to attack parts these days because they're looking for specific nodes. Maybe the SA. I was like, wow, I, I didn't even know. Good for them. Yesterday was the first time she said people wanted longer. I uh -huh. um, And then, she, but like I said, always as many attack livers as possible. People just want Yeah, livers. People want lower extremities too, which that's, that's simple. I mean, that's easy. I don't know what they're doing with it because they want muscle. Yeah, the diamond doesn't. I'm the medical director for the national office for all right. of the affiliates. So I say, okay, what are your, what are you looking to supply today? We've been very good at getting parts, long liver. Every provider has had patients who want to donate their tissue, and they absolutely want to accompany them. They just want to do it in a way that is not perceived as this clinic is selling tissue, this clinic is making money off of this. Okay, so um, when, when you are or the employee is disagreeing with that, with that in monetary, yes, so that it doesn't raise, raise any question of this is, this is what it's about, this is the thing. What, what price are you? You know, I, I'm going to throw a number out. I would say it's probably anywhere from thirty to a hundred dollars, depending on the facility and what's involved. The thirty to a hundred dollar price—that's per specimen that we're talking per about, specimen. right? Yeah. Yes. The thirty to a hundred dollar price—that's per specimen that we're talking per about, specimen. right? Yeah. Yes. How much of a difference can they actually make if you if you know what kind of what's expected or what we need versus? It makes, it makes a huge difference. I, I'd say a lot a lot of people want liver. And for that reason, most providers would just accept their ultrasound diets. So they'll know where they're putting their forceps. Kind of re limiting step of the procedure is calvarium. Calvarium, the head is basically the biggest part. Most of the other stuff can come out of the top. Right. Thought I was going to be just drawing blood, not procuring tissue from aborted fetuses. They part of a Planned Parenthood, and they get part of the money. So I say, okay, what are your, what are you looking to supply today? You know, you can imagine where they would run with this. Like you're selling body parts, you know.
Holly O'Donnell. I'm 24 and I'm a phlebotomist and an ex-procurement technician. Uh, for those who don't know what a phlebotomist is, basically you draw blood for a living. I was looking to help the public. I mean, I'm looking to make blood draws easy for, for children, for people. I'm, I'm very passionate about people. I find myself I'm very humane and very sensitive. I thought I was going to be just drawing blood, not procuring tissue from aborted fetuses. I basically just went on Craigslist, typed in the word phlebotomist lab technician, and I clicked the link to apply. It said procurement technician. I went to the website. It said STEM Express. And um, apply now. I applied. It was really short. It wasn't even an application. It was your name, your phone number. That was it and I got an email back and I interviewed and they don't even let you know in the interview what you're doing. Sun Express is a company that hires procurement techs to draw blood and dissect dead fetuses and sell the parts to researchers. They partner with Planned Parenthood and they get part of the money because we pay them to use their facilities and they, they get paid from it. They do get some kind of benefit. We were asked to procure uh, certain tissues like uh, brain, liver, thymus, pancreas, heart, lungs, and pretty much anything on the, on the fetus. It's basically huge trafficking of fetal tissues. So I'll just take a couple minutes. Sure. And Brianna is my assistant. Hi. Hi. So. <laughs> oh, you're warm. I want to hang on to you. <laughs> so um, I was talking to Mary about what I'm trying to offer to clinics as a procurement service. And she said, you know all about this. Oh, we have so, already a relationship oh, with ABR. Yeah. Oh, OK. Yeah. So is that the sort of, sort of thing you're doing? It's a yeah. startup. Uh -huh. so, uh, so there's already a service there. I'm thinking with my business In, head that using them for over 10 years, a really okay. a long time, so I, I you know, just kind of renegotiate the contract. They're doing the, the I can't remember what they call it, but the big uh, collection for um, government uh, level uh, collections and things like that. So, and okay. so I'm trying to think of other uh, uh, providers in our town. There was so I don't want to sound like a salesman here, but okay. I'm going to. So we return a portion of our fees mm -hmm. to the clinic. Oh. So just to, as a way of thank you for uh -huh. this, um, just trying to establish. Right, get a toe yes. in and yes. make, it, make it sound. Okay, so I'd like, what, what, would, uh, what would you expect for intact, um, Tissue. What what sort of compensation? What sort of? Well, why don't you start by telling me what you used to pay? Okay. I don't think so. I I'd like to. I would like to know what would make you happy. What would work for you? Well, you know, in negotiations, a person who throws out the figure first is at a loss, right? So. <laughs> you. No, I, I don't look at it that way. I know. You want to play that game, I get I it. Like but the games. I just no, don't want to no, no, lowball because I'm used to low things from. You know what? Um, uh, if you lowball, I'll, I'll act pleasantly surprised and you'll know it's a lowball. Okay. What I want to know is uh, what, would, what would work for you. Don't lowball it. Okay. Tell me what you really. was always trying to make sure that we got our specimens. No one else really cared, but the main nurse did because she knew that Planned Parenthood was, was getting compensated. So she wanted to make sure that everything was going great for us, that it was going great for them, and for us, and it was going great for them. And and are we agreed that $100 would keep you happy? Well, let me agree to find out from other affiliates yes. yes. in California what they're getting. And mm -hmm. if they're getting substantially more, then we can discuss it there. Yes. <laughs> and if this is in the ballpark, then that's fine. If it's low, still low, then we can talk about it. I want a Lamborghini. <laughs> I said I want a Lamborghini. <laughs> Don't we all, right? Yeah, exactly. So I remember my first day, I was at the Concord Clinic. 
and it was very early in the morning. I was with one of my trainers, and I, I walk in, I meet the staff, and I look over in the corner, and there's a, a little, it's a little light tray with pie dishes on it. I'm like, hmm, okay. And then I see someone come in with a, a bottle of something and a resplendent in it. I'm like, okay. And then they, they went over to the sink and they emptied it out in a strainer and put it on the pie dish and lit it up. And, and I'm like looking like, what's going on? And my trainer comes over and she, she puts on gloves and she grabs some, some tweezers and she's picking parts away from the, the vaginal tissue and I'm I've never had anxiety before this at all so I'm looking and I don't know what's going on I had no idea this was what was going to be happening especially my first day and uh, she's literally she has tweezers and she's like okay well this is a head this is the arm this is a leg and she goes she hands them over and says, oh here you go can you show me some of the parts I just showed you and I grab the tweezers I'm like because I didn't want to lose this job I didn't know um, I was already stoked to get it, so I just, I did what she said in the moment, I took the tweezers, I, I put them in the dish, and I remember grabbing the leg, and I said, this is the leg, and the moment I picked it up, I could just feel, like, death and pain, like, I've never felt that before, like, shoot up through my body, and I started to, bl I blacked out. Call that intact? These are intact kidneys, yeah, okay. yes. If somebody needed. Because if I looked at that, I'd be like, that's good to go. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Five stars. Yeah, I mean, you can, I mean, you could start a neural cell culture from this from this neural tissue right here. Like, would someone want that? This? Yeah. Any yeah. Of this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Someone would, someone would definitely. This, so this, this is definitely. Really early, I this is Second this is neural time. tissue that people could take and look and you see how it's still connected through the spinal cord back there. If Do we just send that all together back. and they um, make it out? You could actually, yeah, yeah. Some people some people prefer that actually because it you know, keeps it a little more protected. Yeah. That eleven six was pretty <laughs> good. There was yeah. yeah, I mean there was like three or four samples we could have taken out of the eleven six. So that would be you know if we were doing like you know fifty to seventy five per specimen that would be like two hundred three hundred. With that. But like, so it's like stuff like this. Like we don't want to be like just a flat fee of like two hundred, and then it's like <laughs> no. And you know, the, uh, uh, I, I think the the thing per item thing works a little better. Charlie. I'm just curious, has anyone at the White House watched these videos from Planned Parenthood, uh, about Planned Parenthood? Uh, I suspect somebody has. Um, and where are you getting your information, the fact that it's fraudulent, or the fact that they're distorted and edited unfairly? Uh, based on the public comments of Planned Parenthood, who has indicated that uh, the views that are represented in the video are entirely inconsistent uh, with the with that organization's policies and with the high ethical standard that they live up to.